listening. Thank you very much, and welcome back here today to the BBC Central Stadium in Turles for the second of our 2023 Glen Dimplex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarterfinals. You can hear in the background there, Mickey Joe Hart, and we've got the world. But who will have the world or a place in the final four of this competition at the end of this game? It's Kilkenny against Wexford. It's Leinster rivals. Never much between them. Kilkenny will come into this game as slight favourites, having beaten Wexford twice this season already. But Wexford All Ireland Premier Junior Champions in 2021 can never be written off. Uh, just before we run through the two teams, just a message to let you know in case we forget to mention it later on the draw for the Glen Dimplex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship semi finals will take place in the Camogie Association YouTube channel around half past seven this evening. So make sure you check out that. We already have Derry, we already have Westmead, and we already have Mead, who beat Cork in the opening game of our double header here by 3 11 to 1 11. But time to run through the two teams. We're going to start with Kilkenny. One change from the side announced during the week in goal number one is Kleena Murphy. Full back line is two, Neve Leahy. Three, Jenny O'D. And four is Jane Cass. The half back line were number five, Neve Whelan. Centre back number six is Roisin Phelan. And seven is the captain. Her name is Hannah Scott. In midfield were number eight is Laura Green. Partnered up by number 18, Mairead Kennedy, who comes into the team at midfield. The half forward line were number 10, Daniel Quigley. 11 centre forward is Sarah Barco. And 12 is Emma Minogue. And the inside line, top of the right, number 13, Trace Donnelly. Full forward number 14 is Carolyn Kennedy. And top of the left were number 15 is Afton Grace. And their manager is Seamus Kelly. Wexford have a couple of changes due to the fact that their team are playing a senior relegation game. We'll give you that result first. Wexford beating down 116 to 15 points. Their first team preserving their senior status. Their second team preserving their intermediate status. But can they make the All-Ireland semi-final? Their team in full in goal number one, Emma Kiley. Full back line two, Kelly Ann Dempsey. One of two changes is at full back. Number 17, Ellie O'Connor replaces number three. And wearing number four is Sinead Furlong. The half-back line where number 18 is Letty Whelan. Centre-back six is Derva Doyle and seven is Grace Roach. Eight, Karen Tompkins. Nine, Kira O'Connor. Ten, the captain, Una Doyle. Eleven, Nora Higgins. Twelve, Eva McCree. Thirteen, Sarah Doyle. Fourteen, Quiva Byrne. Fifteen, Emer Hunt. Their manager is Alan Brennan and we have Aron Naveen. That was a Ron of Veen. Apologies for rushing through the Wexford team, but we are ready to start off this second Glen Demplex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarter final. You can see there in the middle, the midfielder is getting in position. Your match referee today is Philip McDonald from Cavan. The standby referee, Mike Ryan from Tipperary. Colm O'Mokon from Cork is also on the line. And the fourth official is Joe Coppinger from Cork. It's the third meeting of Kilkenny and Wexford in 2023. We'll run through their previous, uh, jousts in just a few moments. Kilkenny attacking the goal to the right. The wind uh, gradually turning. Looks more to the right for this game, but it won't be a major factor on the scoreboard. The ball is thrown in. The game is on. And who will join Derry Westmead and Mead in the semi-finals of the Glen Dimbleks All-Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship because Kilkenny go in the first attack and Daniel quickly just missing out on the occasion. Wexford taking possession through Nora Higgins. We should also mention Wexford without the injured Kira Butler. Uh, he picked up an injury in their 4 -13 to 110 victory over Carlo. The referee spotted an infringement and it's going to be a free for Kilkenny just outside the 45 meter line. 30 seconds will be just closer to the 65 meter line and it'll be an opportunity for Dim to get off the mark. Their top scorer in the championship so far is Afton Grace. She wears number 15. 115 scored in total. 11 frees. Will this be her 12th? She goes to the post but that ball goes to the right and wide. 
I mentioned the two teams have played twice this year. Can Kenny beat Wexford in the league back in the 18th of March? That was Division 2B by 15 points to 3-5, while in the Leinster Intermediate Championship semi-final two months later on the 13th of May, it was 19 points to 5 to the Black and Amber. Kenny come into the game as favourites. Wexford will need the goals, you would feel. But then again, the favourites didn't win the first for two games here today. So again, nothing is guaranteed. But a lot of people believe in Kilkenny, who were the Leinster Intermediate Champions, beating Carlo 119-18 to in the final, uh, will carry the day. But Wexford, a very, very uh, a team that's been grown together under Alan Brennan over the last few years. We mentioned their All-Ireland success two years ago. They've given away another free, but the advantage is accruing. It's going to go back for a free just inside the 65-metre line. It looks like we'll be after Grace get another go. No, it won't be her. And it looks like it'll be Emma Minogue. She's scored two frees in the championship so far, 1-5 in total. She's going to take this just inside the 65-metre line. So Kilkenny, no score yet if you just joined us here. Kilkenny, their second scoring opportunity. Zemma Minogue takes the free. Dropping down towards the 20 metre line. The referee spotted a push. So it's going to be a free out for Wexford. And a Wexford player is taking the helmet off. In a bit of distress. So we'll have a hold up and play. And just while we're doing that. Just to run through Kilkenny's year so far. Well they started off the league. With victories against Galway, Tipperary and Wexford. That we mentioned before losing to Cork. In their final group game. Those two same sides Kilkenny and Cork. Drew the league final 1-7 apiece. Before Cork won the replay by 8 points. In the Leinster Championship, Kilkenny beat Dublin, Wexford and Carlow all by convincing margins to win that title and continue that reign of form into the Championship on the 27th of May, beating Dublin 4-13-1-4. A 2-13-1-8 win over Cork followed in early June and their last game, which was four weeks ago, a 19 points to 11 against Galway. So with Wexford, well they started off their league campaign, the Ferry Camogie League Division 2B, with a 113-19 win over Galway. But then it was three defeats in a row in the league to Kilkenny, Tipperary and Cork. And any chance they had of making the final and then they lost to Kilkenny in the Leinster semi-final in their opening game of this championship. 2-17 to 7 points to Derry. But they turned it around since a big win against Antrim, 3-11 to 114 in the battle of the last two All-Ireland Premier Junior Champions. And then they beat Carlow 4-13 to 1-10. The referee wants to get on with this, but... Um, I think he's indicating that he wants to play her off the field if she's going to receive treatment. And the player is okay. So we'll get on with the action and the free out taken by Derva Doyle for Wexford. Sending it down towards the other end of the field. The first score will be important. Una Doyle is the captain for Wexford. She's in the yellow helmet. Their top score this year with 2-12 in the championship. Sending it in towards the uh, full forward line with Kilkenny fullbacks just getting in there. And then the win the free out. So the two players in the white helmet. Hannah Scott was the first. Was leaving it up. But they're calling out Kleena Murphy. The goalkeeper for Kilkenny to take this. So Kleena Murphy for Kilkenny with the long free down towards the 45 metre line. No score in the game so far. This is Emma Minogue. Emma Minogue down towards Trace Donnelly. And Trace Donnelly trying to come inside there. Now in the pass off. But of all the Kilkenny options she had, she managed to find the Wexford defender. And Wexford will bring it up the field. Number 17 for them is Ellie O'Connor. She's been in defence today in Wexford. Avert the danger and Kilkenny leave another scoring opportunity possibly away. Letty Whelan, number 18, into space, but that's into no player's land, and it's going to be a sideline cut for Kilkenny inside their own 45-metre line. Hannah Scott looks like she'd be the player to take this. She will start the action. The Mead players... Nears here in the commentary box, watching the action. They know the winners of this match could be potential semi-final opponents. 
As the ball goes down into space and Sarah Barco will try and get in this. Up against Derva Doyle. That'll be a tussle worth watching. Sarah Barco wins it in that occasion. Trying to get the pass over Caroline Kennedy not to be. Wexford defenders getting the touch. Derva Doyle again coming to the rescue. Challenge on Nickel Kenny player but a bit of space opening up here. As Maraid Kennedy tries to create the opportunity. The referee has blown the whistle. Hasn't given any indication. So we're going to have hold up and play. It's actually Kenny free in. He hasn't signaled either way, so that's why we weren't too sure of the decision at the moment, but the decision is Kilkenny's way. And this, this will be the opportunity to get the opening score of the game and not to be. The ball is played into the corner. You can see there Daniel Quigley in the blue and white helmet. Leaving it off. Support comes from Afton Grace. Afton Grace gives it off. A foul there. Clear, no arguments about that decision anyway. And it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny. A bit of a clumsy challenge from Wexford to try to stop the player going through. Game just taking a bit of time to get going. Six and a half minutes gone, still no score in it. It's a yellow card there for Durva Doyle. So Afton Grace... We'll feel this is going to be her first score of the game. Very, very big day. Afton Grace with the free. The free that was won by Laura Green. Eight minutes gone and Kilkenny are off the mark. It's Kilkenny one point. Wexford no score. So Emma Kiley to get us going again. Long ball down towards the middle of the park. Batted down there for Kilkenny, but only as far as the very busy Wexford centre-back. It has to be said, Derver Doyle gives it off to Nora Higgins. Nora Higgins finds a player up to the right, and that's Ellie O'Connor. Ellie O'Connor with the red boots. Batted out there by Roisin Fielding in that location for Kilkenny, enough to turn the ball around. Raid Kennedy also getting well involved. Hannah Scott. In towards the attack, it is my work out for Kilkenny. Probably not, because Emma Colley will win the race. But she's left the ball loose, and Afton Grace is in there to challenge the goalkeeper. And it's a fair challenge. He's outside the square. Wexford have support coming in. Can they get it away? Number two in the yellow helmet for Wexford is Kellyanne Dempsey. And this is Sarah Barco going for the shot. And that ball goes to the left and wide. So two wise in the game for Kilkenny, just one point in the board. Afton Grace with the free, eight and a half minutes gone. Kilkenny one point, Wexford no score. We can tell you that Roscommon did beat Limerick in that opening All-Ireland Premier Junior quarterfinal earlier on. We'll give you the score again in a couple of moments. So we watch the battle in the middle of the park and Neve Whelan is there for Kilkenny, but Grace Roach is the player that takes it, lays the pass off, the blue helmets, lots of them in Wexford. All in towards the yellow helmet. That yellow helmet is the full forward, Quiva Byrne. Quiva Byrne has support there for Muna Doyle as well. And Kenny's defender has just put this into a bit of space. And down again. A lot of action right down this side of the field at the moment, but one back there by Karen Tompkins. That's Grace Roach. Great take on that occasion by Laura Green. And Laura Green will send it in towards the attack. And you just get the feeling if they keep doing this, they're going to get one of these wide. This is Trace Donnelly. Trace Donnelly with a shot at the post. And that's gone to the right and wide. And Kilkenny will be a bit frustrated that they're not making more hay with the chances that they're getting. Leading by the one point. Wexford's defenders working hard, it has to be said. So no further score. And you can hear there the calls for under press or under pressure. The result of that game was common 13 points, Limerick won 7. That was in the Premier Junior. As we told you, the senior relegation semi final won 16 to 15 points. This is Trace Donnelly. Surely she's going to get her first score of the game. And the umpires are hesitant again. And there, there's a few of those misses now that were difficult. And a few of them can Kenny be disappointed not to get. Four wides for Kilkenny already. 10 minutes gone. One point to nil. And McCauley to be start the action. Goes out over the line. Going to be a Wexford ball. 
And Grace Roach will get his goal. Grace Roach down the left in the direction of Nora Higgins and a foul on the Wexford number 11. And Una Doyle looks like she's going to come across to take this. 2-12, their top scorer in the championship. 1-8 of those from freeze. Quiva Byrne, also a notable scorer. Both of them in the yellow helmets. Quiva Byrne with 3-2 this year. Una Doyle, the teacher from Ratnur St. Anne's. Quite disrespect for the free taker. As Una Doyle hits it, it's going to be close, but it's not going to be on target. And that's Wexford's first wide of the game. So a low scoring in the All Ireland Intermediate Camogie quarterfinal. It hasn't really taken off yet, but no doubt it will. Long drive down there by Cleena Murphy, the goalkeeper for Kilkenny. Daniel quickly goes in a run there now and gets within range. Just didn't get the contact and that's what she wanted. It might work out yet. Emma Connolly has to be very, very careful and just gets it away from the goal. Wexford players nowhere to be and Nora Higgins has covered a lot of ground in the early stages. Two Wexford players miss the ball and Eve Whelan takes possession. Gets overturned and Wexford win the... Well, the referee said it went off the Ethan McCree, the Wexford number 12. I have to say our first instinct was a Wexford ball, but the lines person is much closer to the action than we are. So we'll go back to Maraid Kennedy for Kilkenny. And she'll take this and the referee just telling everybody to get back from the sideline cut. So Maraid Kennedy gets it into space and it's worked out very nicely. Because Caroline Kennedy, her sister, is the player with the ball. She gives it to Sarah Barco. Sarah Barco laying it off there. Daniel quickly, can she get a bit of space for a shot? Tries to go inside Dervid Dodge. She has the advantage for the free, but she's going to get a free shot at the post anyway. And Daniel quickly puts the ball over the bar. 13 minutes gone, and the second score of the game. It's Daniel quickly with the point. Kilkenny, two points. Wexford, no score. So Emma Kiley gets us restarted again. Long drive down towards the opposing 65 meter line. That's a great take on that occasion by Letty Whelan. Letty Whelan is in the side. Quiva Burns appeared to want the ball. But again, Kenny read it very, very well. Neve Leahy when there's giving it out to Jane Cass. And Jane Cass down to the support that's coming from the middle of the field. Laura Green gives it to a teammate. And it's down again in the direction of Caroline Kennedy. The referee spotted a foul for a high challenge. So Kilkenny will have a free out as we come near the quarter hour mark. Again, we mentioned about Wexford's seniors' victory against Down. It's a big weekend for Kilkenny as well as they play Cork in the Glendimlex All Ireland Senior Camogie quarter final. That's tomorrow, Sunday, in Crow Park at 1 30. Big day for Kilkenny because, of course, their senior hurlers play afterwards against Clare at 4 o'clock. Hannah Scott. The captain of Kilkenny sends the ball in towards enemy territory looking for Afton Grace, but it'll work out for Trace Donnelly instead. Trace Donnelly gives it back to Daniel quickly. Daniel needed a second go at this, but Daniel is going to go for the shot, and I think that Emma Colley is happy enough to walk that ball out over the line, and Kilkenny have five wides already after 15 minutes. And it has to be said, they're keeping Wexford in this game. I know it's early stages, but two points still feel as a poor return. Wexford had one dropping ball that went wide, but haven't had a serious scoring chance yet, you could call. And Wexford had given the ball away. Good shepherding there from Hannah Scott to keep an eye on Una Doyle. Those two players up against each other, the two captains. Hannah Scott, who plays for the James Stevens Club, sends the ball down towards enemy territory, and Afton Grace might like this. She gets a touch in the hand. Can she get the turn? Opportunity for Kenny, and a great touch on that occasion by the Wexford defender. And it was Sinead Furlong that came to the rescue there because the Kenny corner forward was on her way in 
for a goal scoring opportunity but not to be now what can Wexford do at the other end as Letty Whelan tries to get possession of the ball but just losing now Kilkenny in defence in particular just weaving those little touches to get it into space get it to their advantage and there's a scramble for the ball outside the Kilkenny 45 metre line Nora Higgins is there as well gives the pass out to her right to Una Doyle Una Doyle will go for the post and that ball goes to the right and wide two wides for Wexford five for Kilkenny as we look at the clock, and it says 16 minutes gone in this Glen Dimplex All-Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarterfinal here on the Camogie Association YouTube channel brought to you in association with Entry. Cleaner Murphy gets this going again. Out towards the middle of the park, Daniel Quigley will be the target. Grace Roach got a touch there as well. But still Kenny, number 10, that wins that particular battle in towards the danger area. And Mimino get pushed in, but this is Caroline Kennedy. And the referee... It says that she pushed into the Wexford defender, so it's going to be a free out. Looks like Karen Tompkins was the player that went to ground there. She plays for Kilrush, so she'll receive some treatment. And Wexford will have a free out from outside the D. Derva Doyle to get us going again. Takes the free inside the 45 meter line down towards the attack. Una Doyle will get her hands in that. Gives it to Nora Higgins. <coughs> Nora Higgins with a shot at the post. And Wexford are off the mark. In 17 minutes gone. We might have a look at that again. But that was a fantastic score from Wexford. As we watch it here again. And the big names involved. Una Doyle from Derva Doyle. And of course then Nora Higgins. Got two points the last day against Galway. Puts that one over the bar. And Wexford get their first score. After 17 minutes you might say. But they're only a point down now. Possession there. By Kira O'Connor. Big name in Wexford. This is an opportunity now for Emer Hunt in the white helmet. And all of a sudden Wexford open up a bit of space. As she the pace to finish this off herself. Emer Hunt will go for the post. And it drops over the bar. I think Cleaner Murphy was trying to stop it. But it goes over for Wexford. And they're, all, they're level. It's what, two points apiece. After 18 minutes. Emer Hunt with the score. Kira O'Connor involved with that as well. And the game being very, very tight. And... Wexford probably just showing us here. They don't need goals to make a match out of this. A lot of camogie to be played. Touched there by Laura Green in towards the attack. Sarah Barco has gone to ground there for a moment. Play continues on. And Kellyanne Dempsey is bringing it out. Wonder will the referee stop play there to check in the Kilkenny centre forward. Sarah Barco, another great talent coming through in Kilkenny. So a bit of opportunity for water, as I say. Conditions absolutely superb for Camogie. But you still need the fluids. For Kilkenny, their concern is their centre forward from Thomastown. Thomastown, one of the top clubs in Kilkenny. A very competitive county championship, it has to be said. Kilkenny, of course, in 2021 were all Ireland intermediate finalists. Going down to Antrim on that occasion. And indeed, they would feel that at the end of that first half, they didn't do enough damage to themselves and lost out to what you would say was a very unplayable Antrim in the second half who really dominated and put on an exhibition at Camogie. They won't want to repeat here. This Wexford team know how to win as well. Michael Kenny will bring it out the field. Roisin Phelan pushing into space. Michael Kenny player Sarah Barco is still on the ground, but this is Trace Don Michael Kenny playing with 14 players at the moment. As Kellyanne Dempsey wins the ball back for Wexford. Pass four to Grace Roach. Grace Roach down the left flank. Very crowded down here, but can it work out for them? It might do, because Emer Hunt is there. Left and right, the strain to Quiva Byrne. That's the tactic from Wexford. Get the ball to Quiva. And Quiva will go for a shot at the post. Didn't get the power. Now she won the rebound. Might come for Uri's oil. And Kleena Murphy had to be brave there. The Kilkenny goalkeeper because it was the Wexford number 10, Una Doyle, that was coming in for the rebound. Didn't happen for her on that occasion. And Kilkenny will bring it down the field as Daniel quickly goes up towards the 65 meter line. Looking for support. Sends it into space. But only a purple and gold jersey gets in the way. And that's Karen Tompkins. And Karen Tompkins wins another free. 20 minutes gone. Kenny two points, Wexford two points. And we're just checking the latest score from the uh, game in Clane. 
In the Glen Dimplex All Ireland Premier Junior Camogie Championship quarter finals, Clare four points, Cabin two. Derva Doyle restarts the action. Draws, of course, to take place later on. Half uh, past seven, Camogie Association YouTube channel, that's the place to be. Free one by Neve Whelan. And of course, if you're a defender in Camogie, you can take it out of the hands yourself. And that's what she did. Gives it to Emma Minogue. Emma Minogue giving a space open up here for Kilkenny. They can take advantage of it. Afton Grace comes out to get the ball. Ahead of Sinead Furlong, but Sinead's the, staying very, very tight. Afton Grace has done well. Gives it to Caroline Kennedy. This is a chance for Kilkenny, and the referee has blown the whistle for a push. Or leading them with the elbow. Either way, it's a free out for Wexford. Kilkenny just not catching a few of those breaks. But Wexford's defending very, very tight and resilient. And they followed the playbook or the tactical plan very well in the first half. They knew they'd be under pressure and they're dealing with that. Now, I'm not too sure if the uh, physio there having a word with the referee, but Sarah Barco looks like she's going off for a bit. So we are going to have a change for Kilkenny and I... I think the physio will probably give the referee her opinion on that. But either way, Ellen Gunner will come on for Kilkenny. And we're not too sure if this is a permanent change or not just yet. The change has taken place. Ellen Gunner is a very, very dangerous player. Probably for many a surprise she didn't start. She has scored 2-3 in the championship so far. Now, she hasn't started any game, it has to be said. Came off the bench in all three group games. She's involved with the action, but this is Nora Higgins, very busy in the early stages. Referee says too many steps. And it's going to be a free out for Kilkenny. So Roshi Feeling's going to come out to take this. Nearly 23 minutes gone. Long drive down the field. Straight into a Wexford hand, though. Wexford reading it so much better. That was Derver Doyle. So again, the tennis starts, but maybe not. Ellen Gunner can get on that. But you can see Grace Roach, number seven for Wexford, getting involved with the action. Touched there by the Wexford to go off a Kilkenny stick is the question. Referee says it's a Kilkenny balls and not to be. Daniel quickly to get us going again. The referee not happy. Daniel quickly for more Lockton Gales. The Kilkenny under the 16 Camogie team will be playing Galway there tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And if they can't get a chance to watch their seniors against Cork, plenty of All Ireland under 16 Camogie Championship action taking place around the country. Check www.camogie.ie for all the fixtures in the final round of group games across four different grades. Kilkenny going for an attack again. In the direction of Afton Grace. Touched there by Sinead Furlong. Out to Caroline Kennedy. Caroline throws as the referee. And it'll be a free out for Wexford. Good news for Kenny fans. I can tell you that Sarah Barco looks okay to come back on. Whenever she's given permission to do so. So it wasn't a permanent substitution. Well, unless a different player goes off. So, of course, it was a blood substitution, as we were aware, but we're just checking to make sure no other change was made. But Ellen Gunner goes back off. Sarah Barco back in the field to play. Nora Higgins receiving attention to the far side of the field. And it's Derva Doyle to restart the action from Oilgate Glen Bryan. One of the busiest players on the field in this first half. Nearly 25 minutes gone, long ball in towards the attack. As Emer Hunt tries to get in this again, and Emer gets inside. Can she find Quiva Byrne? Well, she won the free with a high challenge with the hurl coming across. And somebody said something the referee didn't like. So it's going to be brought into the middle. And surely now this will be the opportunity for Wexford to go in front. Important for both teams to maintain their discipline. Both verbally and physically. Una Doyle. 
Take the free. The ball goes over the bar and Wexford go in front for the first time in this game. Una Doyle with the free. It's Wexford three points, Kilkenny two. What can Kilkenny do before half time? Keenan Murphy restarts the action, driving it down towards the middle of the park, hoping to find Emma Minogue. Might work out for Caroline Kennedy instead. Plenty of black and amber jerseys getting in there, but the Wexford defender has been brave, and Derva Doyle blocks the ball down. The hands were out there, free for Kilkenny. So it'll be a free for Kilkenny. It's amazing people's different interpretations of the rules. <laughs> One Wexford official was trying to insist it was charging. I don't think there was any uh, argument about that. Kilkenny will get the free. And will Emma Minogue have a go to try and put this back in level terms? So about 60 yards out. Just over three minutes to half time. Emma Minogue with a long drive down towards the goal, but it's going to carry out. And the ball goes to the right and wide. Kilkenny have not scored now in 14 minutes. Surprisingly low scoring game, but so much at stake. The puck out by Wexford. It's only going to find... Well, I thought for a moment it was going to get away, but Neve Whelan was there. And she wins the free. Sarah Doyle, not happy. Play restarts to Laura Green. Laura Green crossfield ball. Now, what can Kenny do with this? Trace Donnelly will come out to get it. Has support from Daniel Quigley. Opts for a different option. This is a chance here now. As the player takes the challenge... And Marie Kennedy, the player that won the free in that occasion, so it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny. To the left of the D, and Afton Grace should be able to put this over the bar. Afton Grace with the free, puts it over the bar, two minutes to half time. And it's Kilkenny, three points, Wexford three. Second time they've been level. And McCauley together is going again. A slow burner of a game. But definitely you can simmer. to something very, very hot in the second half. We will see. Nora Higgins with the ball down the left-hand side of the field. Tries to get away, but good marking from Daniel Quigley. Not for Neve Whelan to take the ball back for Kilkenny. Down in towards the attack. Down towards the 45 meter line. Can Afton Grace get in this? Probably not. Sinead Furlong staying very, very tight. But there is Karen Tompkins playing in a reserved role. Sarah Barco couldn't get into her hands, but spotted that Laura Green was there. Laura Green will go for the shot. And the umpire's like it, I think. It's gone over the bar. 29 minutes on. And can Kenny get a score? Eight, four points to three. That was Laura Green taking the assist from Sarah Barco. Inside the final minute of play in the first half. Roisin Phelan sends it down towards the attack. Can Kenny get a surge before the break? That's going to be a wax of the ball. Grace Roach to take it outside the 45 metre line. Again, the referee wants players back. In towards space, in towards Derver Doyle is taking that nicely. Two minutes of out of time will be played as Derver Doyle sends the ball down for Wexford looking for Quiva Byrne. Kilkenny needs to be careful. Quiva Byrne gets a touch. Can she get the second touch? Not to be, says Keena Murphy, but she hasn't got fully away yet. And Wexford Quiva Byrne has it again. Can she get a bit of space for the shot? And that ball will go to the left and wide. Third wide of the game for Wexford, but for a moment there, not quite panic in the Kilkenny defence, but a bit of a nerves nonetheless. Keenan Murphy from Kilmacow sends it down towards the middle of the field. Breaks nicely for Caroline Kennedy, but 
Judge to have charged the collision of the players and Dervidal goes to the ground. And again, talking back to the official, he concedes the 10 to 12 yards. So Una Doyle getting a drink of water. So nearly a minute of the added time played. Two in total. We'll probably have another one on top of that. And play will restart with a free for Wexford. Dervid Doyle is okay. We'll get on with it now in a moment. Una Doyle, this will give Wexford a big lift if she can put this over. Breeze, can pick it up a small bit, but don't know if it was in her range to carry this over, but she might need that to help. Takes the free, it's going to travel, it's going to travel in towards the goal there and just on the line. And again, the goalkeeper does enough to make sure it gets away from our goal. And Keita Murphy has looked very, very short of the Kenny goal in this game. Sideline cut the far side of the field. Nearly two minutes gone. I think it's Sarah Doyle, the far side of the field. It's going to take this. This will be a massive lift as she went for a shot here. It's going to come in towards the house. A touch there from Muna Doyle, not to be, and it was like Roisin feeling getting in the way of that for Kilkenny. She needed support, tries to kick it away. Play inside the Kilkenny 13 meter line as Laura Green tries to bring it out. The referee says too many steps against the Kilkenny midfielder, and it's going to be a free in for Wexford, which will probably be the last scoring opportunity of the first half. And you would imagine that Una Doyle would be good enough to put this over the bar. So Una Doyle for Wexford with the free. Just outside 20 metres. Takes the free between the posts. The umpire goes for the white flag. The ball has gone over the bar. And the referee, Philip McDonald from Cavan, blows the half-time whistle. And all to play for here. A low-scoring game it might be in both teams, no doubt. There could be some tongue lashings or serious conversations at the break. Kenny got the first two scores to go two points to nil in front through Afton Grace and Daniel Quigley. But at five wides in that period, before Wexford opened their account to Nora Higgins on 17 minutes. Emer Hunt equalised and the teams were level twice more before the end of the half, a lot to play for in the second half, but very, very tight, very, very low scoring. No doubt that will open up and an entertaining 30 minutes are ahead. Come back to us in about 5 10 minutes' time for live coverage of the second half of this Clint Demplex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarter final. But the halftime score, it's all square between the Leinster rivals. It's Kilkenny, four points, Wexford, four.
Thank you very much and welcome back here to FPG Simple Stadium right on cue as we start off the second half of the final Glen Templex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarter final. All square it is between Kilkenny and Wexford. Admittedly, not the most thrilling opening 30 minutes we've seen, but no doubt that will pick up as this game develops. Wexford attacking the goal to the right in the second half have won an early free, and it's going to be taken by their centre back, Derva Doyle. And she just brings it up closer to the middle of the field. We'll run through the scores in just a few moments. We'll watch this free by Derva Doyle first in towards the danger area there. Shot at the goal by Una Doyle doesn't materialise and Kilkenny deal with that and bring it out towards the 45 meter line. But Wexford will feel now they want to be more assertive at the start of this second half. Letty Whelan sent it across. That was Nora Higgins trying to pull the trigger. Might break out kindly for Sarah Doyle. She wears number 13 for Kilkenny getting away from Neve Whelan. Sarah Doyle with the shot into the hands of the goalkeeper, Kleena Murphy. And Kleena Murphy gets hooked down, but that's going to be an official wide nonetheless. Wexford's fourth wide of the game. Kilkenny have had six. Four points apiece, a low scoring first half. The Wexford scores in that period. Two frees for Una Doyle, their captain. Nora Higgins and Emer Hunt also on target. Laura Green, Daniel Quigley and two Afton Grace frees. The scores for Kilkenny. Play restarts out towards the 65 meter line. And Grace Roach, the referee spotted a high push towards the head. Indicate there's going to be a free for Kilkenny. And Roisin Phelan is going to take this. So who's going to grasp this game by the scruff of the neck? Just giving you updates around the country as well. And Trimley Tipperary, two points to one in the early stages of the All-Ireland Senior Camogie Championship quarterfinal. This is an opportunity for Sarah Barcole. Tried to get the touch and it gets it to Trace Donny. Might work out. Can, can, can he get the first score off the second half? And that's exactly what Seamus Kelly would have wanted. Trace Donny with a point for Kilkenny. And it's Kilkenny, five points, Wexford four. First blow of the second half. Wex will be disappointed because they feel they would have done the better hurl in the early stages. Tipperary have equalised in Crow Park, two points apiece. We'll give you an update in the Premier Junior in just a few moments. Laura Green in the tick of the action there, willing to use her feet. Claire lead Cavan by 174 points is the latest score we have in the Premier Junior. Back with the action here in Temple Stadium. Trace Donnelly. Trying to get it across, but well taken on that occasion by Kellyanne Dempsey. And the ball works it towards the middle of the park. Nora Higgins driving a ball down in the direction of Quiva Byrne, trying to read that, but good eyes on the ball. And you could see there Roshan feeling in the middle of all that. The Wexford player goes to ground, so we're going to have a hold up in play. Just while we're looking at that, remember there has to be a winner of this game. We will go to extra time if the finish level after the 60 plus minutes. And <laughs> we have two periods of extra time if that happens. Sorry, somebody in the commentary box cracking a joke. And of course, we will go to 45s if the case need be afterwards. And then make sure you're on the Kabogi Association YouTube channel around 7.30 this evening for the draws for the intermediate Championship semi-finals and just check in the Premier Junior as well. Yes, yeah, so the Intermediate and the Premier Junior. Our own colleague Dave O'Shea just confirming that information for me here. But we're going to go back with the action here. And thankfully it looks like that Sarah Doyle is okay and fit to continue. So Letty Whelan will go up against Laura Green. A substitution being made for Wexford. And number 20, Cy Buttle coming on for Kira O'Connor. That is the Wexford change, four minutes into the second half. And the, the now an opportunity for Ellen Gunner. She's coming on for Kilkenny. And she will replace Caroline Kennedy. Caroline very busy in the opening stages, but probably not able to get a score herself. Ellen did come on as a temporary substitute for Sarah Barco in the first half. Wexford have the ball. Pass in the direction of Nora Higgins, didn't quite get there. Kilkenny win possession. 
Is Emma Minogue tries to control the ball, turns on her right, gives the pass off for Maraid Kennedy, blocked down on that occasion, and the substitute gets involved side bottle. Can Kenny be pushed back? Emma Minogue there again. Turns on her right, in towards Trace Donnelly. This is going to be won by Grace Roach. But Wexford have paid the price for not getting rid of the ball. This is a tease and delivery in by Trace Donnelly. Wexford need to be careful because Afton Grace is lurking. Nafton Grace has the ball, will go for the shot. Good block again by Derver Doyle. Out towards Laura Green. Laura Green will go for the shot. And Laura Green puts the ball over the bar. Can he get their second score of the second half? But we might have a quick look at that again in just a moment because it was the block down as well on Afton Grace's original shot. So we just have a quick look at the replay of that. And there you go, Afton Grace there, blocked by Derver Doyle. And then it came out for Laura Green. Who puts the ball over the bar. You can just see inside the D. And can Kenny go two points in front? Six points to four. They got the first two scores of the first half as well, it has to be said. Wexford won't panic. Una Doyle, the captain. Right inside the 65 metre line. Six minutes gone. Una Doyle with the free, sending it in towards the house. And what way is that going to land? Goes Harmacy across the goal to the left and wide. Two wides, five, five in total for Wexford. Early stages, yes, but there are two opportunities that Wexford will feel they need to get something out of as Laura Green has the ball again, sends it down in towards the attack, down in the direction of Afton Grace, if she can get on that. Sinead Furlong staying very, very close to her, but she gets inside. Mike Govard is herself. Referee says too many steps. And it's going to be a free out for Wexford. And Derva Doyle, the player that's going to take this, has been orchestrated an awful lot of the Wexford play. Inside the 20 meter line, and Derva Doyle sends the ball down the left. Open the... Neve Whelan keeps that in play when she wasn't hoping that Kenny Warren. Neve Whelan has the ball, comes up the field. She hasn't been afraid to gain a few yards anytime she's been on possession. Tried to get it to Trace Donnelly and won't come for Trace, but might come for Sarah Barco. Wexford again getting the bodies in the way, but Trace Donnelly has it. Gives it across, gives it across to Ellen Gunner. Ellen Gunner a cross field ball, hoping that Daniel Quigley can get on the end of this. Daniel Quigley is the win, picks up a small bit in favour of Kenny. She comes inside, this is an opportunity, but didn't bring the ball with her. And Wexford win it back again. And well, you have to admire the Wexford defending, you just feel he, Kenny should have done better with that. Either way, we're back towards the middle of the park. Three Wexford players there. One of them is Sarah Doyle. She wins the ball, sends it down for Quiva Byrne, and the ball just skims away from the Wexford number 14. Hannah Scott will be there for Kilkenny to bring it out in the direction of Jenny O'D. And they've managed to fumble that ball out over the line. So it's going to be a 45 for Wexford. And another scoring opportunity. So Una Doyle will hope to do better with this. Two frees in the game, 2.14 in the championship so far. This will be her 15th white flag if it goes over the bar. Just outside the 45 metre line. Eight and a half minutes gone in the second half. Wexford, two points behind. Una Doyle getting ready. Lifts the ball, sends it towards the post. It looks close enough. Is it good enough? It is good enough, says the umpire. The ball goes over the bar. Una Doyle with the 45. It's a one-point ball game. It's Wexford, five points. Kilkenny, six. Tina Murphy gets us going again. Down towards the attack. Laura Green, a little touch. Out towards the left, and Emma Tompkins seen very, very close to Emma Minogue, but illegally so, says the referee. So Kilkenny will get a free. If you're from Wexford, I can tell you that Donna Dillahunty will be joining the action shortly, or indeed joining it very, very immediately, because she's going to come on and replace Ellie O'Connor. So a few changes in the early stages of the second half. This is Afton Grace. Goes for a shot at the ball. Looking for a third of the day. It's going to drop down. And it comes out by the Wexford defence. Danger not averted yet, but the referee spotted a push. 
So it's going to be a free out for the Slaney Siders. You can hear the instructions there, players given to each other as Derva Doyle sends the ball down the field, down towards the middle, hoping that Una Doyle can get a touch on that. Not to be able to my work out, because Cy Buttle has possession for Wexford, moves towards the 45, tries to offload the pass across to Sarah Doyle. Referee spotted a push on the corner forward from Cranford Monaseed. And again, Philip McDonald has been consistent for talking back, brings it in closer. And this is the chance Wexford have to level it. So Una Doyle, about 35 yards out to bring us back all square here in EPD Simple Stadium. This the Glen Dimplex All-Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarterfinal, the last quarterfinal. Una Doyle with the fray, drops over the bar, the sides are level. And Una Doyle with the score, Wexford 6, Kilkenny 6, level for the fourth time. It might be low scoring. It mightn't have fully taken off yet, but no doubt you'll agree it's compelling, it's dramatic, it's intriguing. It's two rivals going to battle. As Donna Delahunty tries to win that for Wexford, referee spots a push, and it's going to be a free out for Wexford. We can just tell you that Tipperary lead Antrim five points to three in the senior Camogie quarter final. We'll see if we can get an update in clean in a moment. So the free taken by Wexford down towards the opposing 45 meter line. Unadol gets that into her hand, gets the turn, tried to send it into space, confused the Kilkenny defence. Maybe it did because Letty Whelan has it. And Letty Whelan puts the ball to the right and wide. For a moment, I thought that was definitely going over the bar, but not to be. Wexford have led once in this game already. They have the ball again. This is Grace Roach. Grace Roach with a shot. That's going to go Hammersy to the left and wide. Four wides in this half alone for Wexford as Kilkenny are making a change and they're taking off Afton Grace. And coming on for them is Emma Mulhall. So 13 minutes in. Another Kilkenny forward. Removed for not scoring from play. Indeed, the only Kilkenny forward to score from play in the match has been Daniel Quigley. Nora Higgins and Emer Hunt have done likewise for Wexford. And Wexford are bringing on Grace Donovan. She wears number 23. And she'll come on for Eva McRae. So a couple of substitutions there. Emma Kiley gets the scone again. Long ball down towards the middle of the field looking for Laura Green. Two players collide but Wexford win the break. And driving up the field, Derva Doyle offloading it to Sarah Doyle. Outside the 45 meter line, can Kenny get the bodies in the way? And it's won by Roisin Phelan. Roisin Phelan sends it out, but a Wexford player has gone to ground. And the referee's blown the whistle. Looks like it's Sarah Doyle who's down again. Second time she's been down recently. So we're just going to have a hold up and play. 14 minutes gone in the second half. Six points apiece. Who will join Derry, Westmead and Mead in the Glen Demplex All-Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship semi-finals? The pairings will be found out tonight. And we are back here in EPD Simple Stadium for those two games this day, two weeks. The 22nd of July. Referee having a word with the lines person on the far side of the field. Of course, if you want to keep updated in action rounds, Ross Common have qualified for the semi finals. There's our man Tipperary. After they beat Limerick earlier on, Sarah Doyle is okay and fit to continue. So we'll restart with a rushing feeling free for Kilkenny. Down the right, looking for Daniel Quigley. Daniel Quigley in possession. Turns on her right hand side. Sends it in further towards the attack. 
And that is Emma Mulhall in the white helmet. Ball goes off the stick of Trace Donnelly, so it's going to be a free out for Wexford. Or a sideline cut, I should say. Grace Roach, who's been worked very, very hard for the Wexford cause in this game, will take it. When they, even though Kilkenny came into this game as favourites, only one point separated them when they met in the league. Finished 15 points to 3-5 to Kilkenny on that occasion. There was 14 between them in the Leinster Championship. There won't be 14 between them today. But can Wexford make a third time lucky? Or can Kilkenny advance even further in this year's competition? Ocean feeling long ball towards the attack, but won by Neve Whelan. Taken back there by Nora Higgins. Grace Road sends it down towards the attack. Looking for one ball for Quiva Byrne. Will this be it? Not as the Kilkenny defensive have anything to say about it. She needed more support. It comes now. Quiva Byrne manages to leave it off. And Neve Whelan is there for Kilkenny. Danger not averted. Kilkenny working hard to get it away. Kept in play. Up towards the 65 meter line. Ellen Gunner might get in this. Daniel Quigley is there to support, but Wexford three purple jerseys there too. They're always willing to go to battle against each other. These two teams are as Grace Roach brings the ball up the field. Referee says too many steps against her. And it's a free out for Kilkenny. We're inside the final quarter of this game. And we still couldn't tell you if we're going to be here for another 20 minutes or not. Hannah Scott, long ball. Derrida Doyle will block it down. Did that go out over the line? Not says the lines person. Finds it in the direction of Grace Roach. Can Kenny win the ball back? In the middle of the park. Out towards the left. Lower green to Sarah Barco. Referee's going back for a foul. Originally on Daniel Quigley, I think. So it'll be a free for Kilkenny and another player is on the ground. It's a Wexford player as well. It might well have been Grace Roach. She was in a tangle at that occasion. So we'll have another stop in action. Ellen Gunner is going to take this Kilkenny free. I did mention she has scored three frees in the campaign coming into this. Two, three in total. So if she gets another point, bring her overall championship tally to double digits. So Ellen Gunner with the free outside the 65 meter line, going to travel inside the 30 meter line, gets away from everyone and goes to the right and wide. Kilkenny's first wide of the second half. They've had seven in total. Wexford had seven wides as well. The wide count for both teams exceeding the points count. Will that change in the final quarter? We will see. Hannah Scott for Kilkenny. She's the captain. Gives the pass across to Laura Green. Laura Green looks up. Down towards, well, Grace Roach, the player that gets in the way. But this might break nicely for Emma Mulhall. Emma Mulhall getting away from Sinead Furlong. Sinead Furlong did a very, very good job on Afton Grace. Now she's a new challenge in Emma Mulhall. The sideline cut the far side of the field. Daniel Quigley. Is going to take this. It's scored one point in the championship before today. Double that tally already in this match. Kilkenny have the ball in the 40 meter line. And this is a chance for them. As this is Laura Green going inside. Laura Green with an important point for Kilkenny. Puts the ball over the bar. And it's seven points to six. Getting their noses back in front. But it was perfectly set up for a strike at the post. And Laura Green knew exactly where to be. Laura Green's third point from play in the match. As Mairead Kennedy gets the clearance for Kilkenny. Still only one between them. Lalakamogi to be played. And as we mentioned, Wexford had plenty of chances in the second half. Scramble for possession. The pass out to Derver Doyle. Derver Doyle down the field. In the direction of Grace Donovan. We're in number 23. Referee hand out for the advantage. Going to go back for a free for Wexford on their own 65 metre line. Una Doyle is going to take this. Just over 10 minutes of normal time remaining. 
Una Doyle knows she needs to set up a score here. If she can't go for herself. So Una Doyle with the free for Wexford. Travelling down towards the house. Who will get a touch on that? The Kenny of defenders there, but they haven't averted the danger. Cleena Murphy is there as well. Has been assured all afternoon. Has Cleena Murphy, the Kenny goalkeeper, and decided to put that ball away, out of danger, give Kenny a time to regroup. And it'll be a sideline cut for Wexford. Inside the 45 meter line. Looks like Grace Roach is the player that's going to restart the action. And we are now officially inside the final 10 minutes of the Slint Denbex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarter final. We can tell you the Premier Junior clear lead Cavan won 10 to 6 points. Looking good for them to join the final four of that competition as Wexford get another sideline cut. And in Crow Park after 29 minutes, it's currently Tipperary, 8 points, Antrim 5. Loads of Camogie taking place today. Sarah Doyle wants to take this. I wonder if she's thinking about something. Sarah Doyle sends it in towards Emer Hunt. She got a point in the first half. Can she get one here? And Emer Hunt puts the ball over the bar. We're level again with eight minutes to go. And Emer Hunt with her second of the game. Seven points apiece. Five times level. Can somebody win this in normal time? Does a Wexford player down again? The referee wants this player treated off the field. So we're just going back there for a look at that point from Emer Hunt. You can see the way she took it there from the sideline cut. By Sarah Doyle pops it over the bar, all square again. So Nora Higgins was the player from Ratnur, down receiving attention, but she is okay. So she gets herself back on her feet. And Cleena Murphy to get us going. That was Wexford's first score from play in the second half. Cleena Murphy restarts the action. Una Doyle gets a touch there with Laura Green in the mix as well. Farkle Kenny, but it's won by Cy Buttle. And Cy Buttle sends it down right in front of us here in the commentary box, but it goes out over the line. It will be a Kenny ball. And it will be taken, well, I was going to say will be taken by Jane Cass. It won't be. It'll be taken by Hannah Scott. Hannah Scott outside the 45 meter line. Both teams happy enough to take their time with set pieces. Hannah Scott down towards tr number 24, which is Donna Delahunty. But Laura Green has the ball. Referee has given advantage for a foul on Kenny. Might need it because this is Emma Mulhall. And Emma Mulhall on the run had Daniel Quigley too, but she's going to back herself. Emma Mulhall, you can hear a few cheers because the ball has gone over the bar. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Emma Mulhall with a fantastic score. Laura Green doing good work in that as well. And Kenny go eight points to seven in front. So we'll just get a look at this again. And a big score that was, you can see there. Many thought she'd give it to Daniel quickly, but she backed herself, puts the ball over the bar, and Kilkenny lead by a point. So we're six minutes remaining here in EPD Simple Stadium in this 2023 Glen Diplex All-Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarter final here in the Camogie Association YouTube channel brought to you in association with entry and it's Kilkenny by a point but Wexford have a free, a free that has been brought up and they'll have a chance to level this again for the sixth time. And it's Una Doyle that's going to take it. Has scored four points in this game already. Important for Wexford to reply. It's going to be close. The umpire seemed to like it. The ball has gone over the bar. We're level again. And if you're a betting man now, not that we encourage it, you'll be thinking 20 more minutes look inevitable. One of these teams could do it. Jealous. Keena Murphy sends it out. Sarah Barco was trying to get a touch, but Donna Delahunty held it up there, and it's won by Una Doyle. Una Doyle to the number 18 is Letty Whelan. Letty Whelan down towards the attack. 
Neve Lee is going to win the race for this. Tries to put it out. And it's out for another Kenny ball. So Kenny with a sideline cut. Roisin Phelan has possession, tries to go past the 45 meter line. Supporters come back to help out as well. Daniel quickly there in defence as a player to the left. Puts it into space, but it's given the ball away. Wexford will try and hit back. Jane Cass takes possession. Trace Donnelly will try and get this into her hand. Gives the pass forward. And this is Emma Minogue. Emma Minogue gains a few yards. Can she get an opportunity for a shot here? Emma Minogue, she did get the shot in. There wasn't even much space to play with. And that ball goes to the right and wide. Eight wide up the game for Kilkenny. Eight points apiece in the match. Emma Kiley to get us going again. Cathy O'Connor has been called by the Wexford management to warm up. She'll be on shortly. Grace Donovan down towards the attack. Roisin Phelan tried to get possession. The referee wasn't happy with the challenge. Letty Whelan, I think, the guilty party. So it's going to be a free out for Kilkenny and Cleena Murphy. The goalkeeper will come out to take this. Three and a half minutes of normal time remaining. Plus whatever injury time is added. And as a Glenn Demplex All-Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarterfinal to be won here. Cleena Murphy. Down towards the attack. And there's a chance here for Edmund Minogue for the shot. And I think Derrida Dull might have got a touch in the hurl there at least. But it's gone wide. We'll have a quick look back at that because that was a big moment. Emma Minogue getting put through by the goalkeeper. So let's have a look at this again. This is the ball dropping down. And Emma Minogue is there. Let's just keep an eye. I'm not too sure was it uh, was it Emma Tompkins or Derva Doyle. But she hit the ball to the left and white. Nonetheless. And is that a scoring chance that Kilkenny will regret? If they don't win this game. Wexford are making that change that we talked about. Cathy O'Connor is coming on for Sarah Doyle. So, free outside the 65 meter line. Una Doyle is going to take this. Sends it down for Nora Higgins. Nora Higgins, can she give it a space for a shot? She gets inside, goes for the post, into the hands of the goalkeeper, Cleena Murphy. And Cleena Murphy will send it out the field in the direction of Daniel quickly, but she couldn't get her hands in that. Can she keep it in play? Just enough to get it past Grace Roach. Play happening outside the Kilkenny 65 metre line. Two minutes of normal time remaining. Still all square. Still a game to be won. Who's going to win it? As Ellen Gunner tried to move it forward for Kilkenny, but Wexford get the bodies in the way. I think Derver Doyle was there again. Well, I tell you, the committee picking the player of the match in this will have a challenge. Lots of contenders. But we'll have that announcement, but we won't be announcing it until we know if we're getting extra time or not. But we will announce it. Before we finish up up here in the commentary box, go down and talk to that person. Neve Whelan sending the ball in towards Trace Donnelly. Trace Donnelly trying to get a bit of space. Can she move forward? Gives the pass back. The pass back for Ellen Gunner. The work at Kenny. And that ball has gone to the right and wide. And that is, I think, 10 wide in this game now for Kenny officially. And it remains eight points apiece. And we're inside the final minute of normal time. We'll keep an eye on the fourth official. Who is going to win this game? Or do we need a bit more time to sort it out? That's the question. We'll see. But this is Cathy O'Connor on the 45 meter line. Grace Roach was there as well. Emer Hunt, two points of play in this game. Cy Buttle sends it in there for Una Doyle. Una Doyle with a shot for Wexford. And Una Doyle puts the ball over the bar in the final minute of normal time. I think it's her first from play, but either way, it puts Wexford nine points to eight in front. And is that the score that's going to pick up what you could fairly say a shock result? Because not many people were giving Wexford a chance. 
but they lead by a point. Four minutes of at a time, we've been signalled. And the 30 minutes have just been played. Well, three minutes, we're told. So three minutes to, for Kilkenny to save this game and bring us to extra time. Can they do it? Well, that's the question now is can they do it? Ball into space. Kilkenny need to get something out of this. Back to Laura Green. Laura Green with the shot for Kilkenny. Laura Green with the shot for Kilkenny. And Laura Green puts the ball over the bar. She has stepped up when her team needed it. And the sides are level for the seventh time. It's nine points apiece. Nine points apiece. Uh, in this game as we keep an eye on the action and Jane Cass will get a touch on that gives it to Roisin Phelan Roisin Phelan coming across the 45 meter line and can Kenny now we'll see what they can do with this um, play happening in the middle of the park so Nee Whelan trying to bring it forward touch along the ground Derva Doyle was there. This is Daniel Quigley. Daniel Quigley on the move. Referee has the hand out. The advantage is given. And it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny and a chance to, for them to win it. So it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny. So we're, the committee are just going through player the match contenders, but we'll see um, what happens in the moment. It's going to be a free in. And then Gunnar are going to take this. This could be the winner. We've played two and a half minutes of injury time. If she puts this over the bar, Kilkenny will go in front. Is this the moment that Kilkenny have saved this? Ellen Gunner with the free for Kilkenny. It's going to be close to Kilkenny's up on the chair. And Ellen Gunner puts the ball over the bar. Well, it might have been a low scoring game, but that's twice in the last couple of minutes. We think we've seen the winner. Have we seen the winner? That's the question. Time will tell in the next couple of moments as a scramble for the ball outside the 65 meter line. And the referee. Has blown the whistle. Bit of shove in there. So as the indicator, he just wants two players, I think. The referee wants everyone back. Ball thrown in. And this is Sarah Barco. Sarah Barco on the move, sending the ball in. And it's Derver Doyle, wins possession for Wexford. But it gets blocked down, Trace Donnelly has worked hard for Kilkenny. Can she help engineer the winning score? Could surely be the winning score. Laura Green scored four points from play. Gives it to Daniel Quigley. Daniel Quigley back in the direction of Ellen Gunner. She got one, can she get a second? Ellen Gunner puts the ball over the bar. And 64 minutes... It's Ellen Gunner with another score. That time involving Laura Green and Daniel Quigley. And the referee has blown the final whistle. It's all over. And Kilkenny have beaten Wexford. And Wexford are devastated as a two-point victory goes Kilkenny's way. Ellen, Ellen Gunner with the score. Uh, the two last scores for Kilkenny just when we thought that Una Doyle had won the game for Wexford but Kilkenny got the last three scores of the game and they've won this game by 11 points to 9 and we'll announce the player of the match in a few moments as we're just having a bit of a consultation process on that up here some strong contenders for both teams 
But just look at there again. Four points apiece at half time. Kilkenny going two in front early. Wexford coming back level. The sides were level three more times. But then the last two scores, both coming from Ellen Gunner. And Kilkenny win by 11 points to nine. So we're going to leave it at that for a moment. And we'll have the, be back with the player of the match in just a few minutes. But Kilkenny are through to the semi-finals where they'll join Derry, Westmead and Mead. And the final score here in Epidy Simple Stadium. It finished Kilkenny 11 points, Wexford 9. Thank you very much and welcome back here in Rachel Camogie Association making the presentation to our Glyn Dimplex All-Ireland Intermediate Quarter Final Player at the match Laura Green Laura that was a real battle out there like we have the disappointed Wexford players there beside us too I was convinced that was going to extra time Yeah look I think we all kind of were expecting that at the end it was a very tough battle the whole way through and I suppose we just had one of our youngest players come on and step up for us and show the real leadership there today. It was a tough match, and fair play to Wexford. They really put it up to us. Yeah, when Una Doyle got the point, they went one up there as well, but she kept going at it. She kept Linton, and of course, Ellen Gunner, the player you're touching on there as well, getting those two points, especially the last one that involved yourself and Daniel Quigley. Yeah, look, uh, we worked hard till the end, and that's all we can ask of the girls, just keep working hard the whole way through. And I suppose we just got over the line today, so we're d- d- delighted with it. Many people would have mentioned your favourites coming into this game, based on the fact you've beaten Wexford twice already this season, including the 14-point victory in the Leinster Championship. But at the start, you got the first two scores, some shooting going against you. Wexford's defending very good too, and you probably knew quick enough this was going to be a long afternoon. Yeah, look, championship, championship hurling is very different to Leinster and the league and stuff. It is like people just show up on the day and it's never going to be an easy match in an All-Ireland quarter-final. It's tough matches from here on out, so we look forward to the rest of them now. And is that kind of the message that you'd be saying to yourselves is when you just get the head down and stick into this because Wexford are going to do the same thing and we just have to give everything we have? Yeah, 100%. We knew they were going to come out today and tackle us hard. No one's going to let you come out and win by 14 points in the All-Ireland quarter-final, like I said. So I suppose we just knew it was going to be a tough battle and just to keep going hard at it. Of course, it's days like this too that you have to win when you're going in the championship run. I think it's seven wins in a row for this team since the league final as well. So you're maintaining that habit? 
Yeah, hopefully now we keep going. We'll have a tough semi final. I'm not sure who we're out against yet, but it was a long Isle road. We had a big gap there as well with Kildare out of the championship, so we hadn't played in three weeks, four weeks. So we look forward to the semi final now. How difficult was that long way too? Because as you just mentioned, there were Kildare not being involved too. We kind of messed up, I won't say messed up, but uh, through the schedule of games off a little bit. Yeah, I suppose you're go- we went to start a championship in the last week of May and you're going in, you're with three weeks in a row. It was very, very tough going those three weeks. I came straight from the league into Leinster or whatever. And then it was a bit of a lull. It was hard to keep girls focused, you know, towards this. And I suppose we didn't know if we had a quarter final, uh, semi final, we had to go away for the draw. So I suppose we got over it. <laughs> We're here now. We got to the semi final, but it was tough out a few weeks. <laughs> All right, just two questions before I let you go. Of course, yourself, I know it's not an individual, but four points from play involved in a few other scores. You'd be happy with your own performance. I will, yeah. yeah. I'm very happy now, to be fair. I wouldn't normally be scoring four points, but I suppose I just had to take the shots when they're on. And finally, what can you say about these players here to your left? I know you're missing out in the huddle, so I'll get you back there quickly. Ah, they're a great bunch of girls. Like We've just brought such passion and great drive to the whole team this year, and I just hopefully we'll go the whole way now. Well, Laura, I'm going to let you go back with them as well. Best look at the semi final. Thanks a million. You are the Glen Dimplex. That was Kilkenny's Laura Green, the Glen Dimplex All Ireland Intermediate Camogie Championship quarter final player of the match as Kilkenny beat Wexford by 11 points to 9. It was an intriguing contest, even of a slow burner, but not lacking any excitement in those closing stages. But as Laura touched on, Kilkenny joined Derry, Westmead, and Mead in the semi final draw that is coming up in the Camogie Association YouTube channel around half past seven this evening. So make sure you catch that. We'll also have the Premier Junior Camogie Championship semi-final draw as well. A bumper weekend of Camogie up and running with five games taking place today. And don't forget, if you can't get to Crow Park tomorrow, 1.30 on RTE television, Cork against Kilkenny. That's the Glen Denbrex All-Ireland Senior Camogie Championship semi-final. Can Kilkenny make it a double? We will see. But they got the job done. Much tougher than many might have expected, but not them as Wexford give it everything. A two-point victory in the end and it's all over here. We hope you enjoyed our coverage in FBD Simple Stadium uh, in association with Entry on the Camogie Association YouTube channel. Earlier, Mead beat Cork by 3-11 to 111 to book their place in the semi-final and the results here in the second game. Kilkenny are through and the final score. Kilkenny, 11 points. Wexford, 9.